Hello everyone, thank you so much for watching. It's me, Ramon Carrasco, and today we're going to draw a John Michel Basquiat inspired drawing. Uh, as you can see in the background, I myself am a fan of Basquiat, so I did this painting inspired by his work, and this round will be inspired by his work as well. So let's get started. Uh, the first thing we're going to do is draw the person's eyes, and you'll do that by drawing to. Like that. Well, anyway, John Michel Basquiat was born on December 22nd, uh, 1960, and he died at the age of 27, actually on August 12, 1986. Now you're going to draw two more lines around here. And he died from a overdose, a drug overdose, heroin to be exact. So it's very important to stay drug free because drugs kill and it's very very sad because he died at the height of his career a lot of things were very going really great for him he was his work was known internationally um, a few facts about him his mother Matilda was from Puerto Rico his father Ger father Gerard was from from Haiti uh, in 1968 he was playing in the street um, like most kids do, he was eight years old, and he got hit by a car. Now we're going to draw the nose. And when he got hit by the car, he broke his arm, and he had several internal injuries. So he had to spend some time recuperating. So his mother bought him a uh, Grace Anatomy book. And through that book uh, that he read, he became inspired when he started painting. And a lot of his paintings depict the human... Uh, body but it's not done realistically it's done in a much more abstract fashion but he didn't start as an as a you know artist traditional artist he started as a graffiti artist and after that he merged into the more traditional work on canvas and things like that uh, he was actually really good friends with Andy Warhol uh, by the time he was 22 he sold his first painting when he was 23 his work was in great demand and by the age of 25, he, he was on the cover of New York Times Magazine, which is a great accomplishment for any artist, someone so young especially. So now that we have the nose, back to the drawing, we'll draw his mouth. And the thing about Basquiat's work, it was very primitive. So if you mess something up, just leave it because it will it'll work. It will work out. Now the head. A lot of his work contain lots of words, so the forehead, and he would put words from things he saw on TV or books he wrote. We're going to fill this in black, so with a sharpie with a mark or a crayon. It doesn't have to be perfect because there was no real perfection in his work. Everything was really messy very spontaneous and that's what's fun about John Michel Basquiat's work there's really everything goes now we're gonna draw his neck his arm and his hand He's waving, or maybe he's doing the nay nay, one of the two. Um, just add lines throughout sporadically. There has, there's really no order to his work. It's very spontaneous, like I mentioned earlier. Mark making is very important. Um, one of my favorite symbols that he used was this little crown, and it's a, in a lot of his work. And he also used halos around people. Feel free to add more lines. Any type of mark that you want to make in this moment would be quite permissible. Now let's try adding some color. I'm going to switch to red. So I'm going to make 
the crown with some red. You could use yellow, but I'm afraid yellow would not show up in this video. And his lips. Maybe give him a ring. Now let's switch it up. Let's use some green. There's actually a movie on Netflix about John Michel Basquiat. It's titled Basquiat. And um, if you're interested about his life or his works, I recommend you watch it. But um, if you're below 18, I recommend you wait until you turn 18 because it, it might not be suitable for children. Now let's add some blue. You might be thinking, wow, you're just making a lot of crazy marks and lines. And that's, I mean, really what his work was about. If Feel free to go online and check out his images and you'll understand why I'm doing the marks I'm doing. There's also on YouTube, there's interviews about the artist and his work and why he did the things he did and things like that. He actually did uh, some collaborative work with Andy Warhol and all of that you can find on YouTube. And there we have our John michel Basquiat inspired drawing. I mean, this is, it's really fun to do his works and recreate them because there's no wrong mark that you can make. Um, thank you so much for watching. Please make sure to subscribe, leave your comments below, and stay tuned for more videos. Thank you so much for watching.